All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we are going to be hopping back into Total War Warhammer. I have missed playing this game so much. Now, if you look back to some of the older videos on this channel, there were a lot of Total War Warhammer videos, and it's a game that I, I kind of want to bring back. Now, would it be Warhammer Wednesdays or like once a week, more than once a week? I don't know, but this is a game I, I really enjoy and love to play, so I definitely want to do that. So I'm thinking we're going to play the Beastman. Now, there's another DLC coming, and that's kind of what brought me back. I'm like, why have I not been playing this game? But basically, we're going to be doing the Beastman, and we're a horde army, so we don't have an empire. What I think is going to be a very interesting playstyle for those of you who like strategy games and just like epic action and awesome lore and good storyline and me excited to destroy shit. Then I think you're gonna like this because that are, we're gonna do that. And if you read all this stuff, we're like this just bestial horde rampaging around the empire, and with desperate to pull apart the very fabric of civilization. Cult children of chaos, chaos spawn, gores, ungors. Ah oh, man, beastmen. Let's see, master ambushers. I love everything I just read. I didn't need to read all of it. Now let's pick. Our leader so we've got two options right now and there's two different starting points so we've got Estalia Kazrak the one-eye faction leader powerful melee fighter and leader can unlock a ferocious Razorgore chariot mount income from raiding is up and leadership versus non-humans is up so income from raiding 10% seems pretty good Bray shaman hero capacity plus one and campaign movement range plus 10% now, the starting positions you can see in the grand map, we are on the deep south versus basically the Spanish-esque <laughs> inspired peninsula right next to Italy here. And here's Bretonia. So it's like, do I want to deal with orcs and dwarves? Nah, I think, actually, I want to deal with the humans. The humies. So that's what we're going to do. Minotaurs and some gore herds. We're going to start this campaign. Get ready for a cool cinematic. Dark powers demand war on all civilization. The Cloven Ones answer the call. I am an emissary of such a cause, one that has spoken with Bray Shamans and knows their ways. I have sought out the One Eye. For his hatred of man reaches above all doors. He knows my scent and abides my presence. For now. That mustache, though. Thirsts for vengeance. 
but a single soul is not enough to appease the ruinous powers. They want it all. Send forth the gores. Let civilization be torn asunder. Let the endless hunt begin. How about all that crazy chanting in the background, huh? Who the hell was that? The chaos moon looms across the sky. It is a dark omen, a demand from the ruinous powers that the cloven ones... All right, all right, all right. A greeting in your tongue, my bestial lord. I know you feel a yearning to kill me, for I am but a man. But you have received the vision. You know who has sent me. My desire is as yours, to see the Cloven Ones tear down all civilization. So let us begin. To the north, past the mystic forest of Athaloren, is Britonia. Arrogant and aloof, its glittering spires a sure sign of self-righteousness. You should bring ruin to this pretty realm. East of Britonia lies the Empire. The very pinnacle of mankind's hubris. Its capital, Altdorf, is the center of power and a symbol of its surety. Reduce it all to rubble. Let pandemonium reign. The Empire is powerful, but divided. You must strike soon, for it may yet unify and seek to bring civilization to the bloodgrounds. To the south, the border princes hold a tentative grip on all that they call theirs. Yet they are isolated by the mountains and the Blackfire Pass. Soft targets for a hungry herd such as ours. Destruction is in your blood, Nui Gurleth, and the world must know it. So as much as you can, the Cloven Ones shall destroy the world of man. Well, it sounds like our whole premise is just to wreck shit, and I thought this is awesome. So... We deal with favor. We don't really get money. We are the minions of chaos. Race the following number of settlements four. Okay, so let's see what my army is composed of. So we've got my leader, Kazrak the One-Eye. And we've got, let's see, some Gore Herd, some Ungore Herd. Who seems to be the better soldiers here? The Gore Herds. Ungore Spearmen Herd, which are even, like, shittier. Ungor Raiders, we got some archers, and we got Minotaurs, the big boys, the, the tanks of my army. Alright. So this has a rather sizable army at the port city of Magritte of Estalia. Now Bilbili over there is a, a nice ripe jewel as well as Tabaro. So what if we could just totally destroy this whole peninsula, right? So my thought was... Let's see what the garrison forces here. Tabaro and Bibli, Bilbali, are fairly weak in terms of their garrisons. Look, Tabaro here has only got five units, two units of swordsmen, three units of spearmen. Bilbali, six units. We're not sure what they are exactly. So, the thought would be we could recruit some units. Now, how do I, like, know if my guys are hidden or not? There should be some kind of indication if they're hidden. Well, let's start some technology. So, Grizzly Trophies is leadership. Vitriolic Temperament is unit experience. And the research rate goes down by 5%. Melee Attack for Lords embedded for lords and Embedded Heroes. Income from Raiding. Money. And then what's this? The Seed of Hate. Oh my god, that, that costs a lot of money. 5,000. These are free, so I guess we'll wait till we have a little bit more income, because I'm definitely going to buy some units. Now, it has been a while since I've played Total War Warhammer, or a Total War game in general, and I have missed it. As a result, some of you armchair generals back there, or rather on the other side of my monitor, observing me, telling the enemy of my location, you fucking bastards! Well, 
I would imagine that you you might have some uh, tips and tricks for me. Why the shit can I cross this river? Where's the crossing? Oh, well, that kind of ruins my plan. This river isn't crossable at any point. That's insanity. Well, then, look at this. Miragliano is Italian. And then there's some swamps here. Now, I, I wouldn't imagine... This is some bullshit. I was expecting to be able to just hop over here, raid Bilbali, and raid Tabara. But yeah, if you've got some suggestions as to tactics and ideas, then, you know, I'm all ears for that. Let's go ahead and see... What's my building panel? Hag Tree Corpse. Horde recruitment capacity. Uh, this... Let's see. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm understanding the infrastructure a little bit better. A den. Chaos Warhounds. I have zero desire for any Chaos Warhounds or spawn. Because I've played with them before. Now these guys look pretty badass. So I think that in this guy for sure, since he is Melia. I will go boo doo doo doo. You know what I mean? Is that what he's on about? Well, that would take one turn. Now can we move and then... Let's go ahead and do the old uh, save strategy. So, as you can see, there's a lot of Beastmen. Did, did I literally delete Beastmen 1 and just write it again? Because, you know what? File name. Check mark. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the geographic issue. That looks like a a, a, a crossing point. Why, why? Now, what if, what if I do... Stance used beast pass. Oh, here we go. The warherds can cross the old world using the secret beast paths, increasing their movement allocation. Now, and then there's hidden encampment. Beastmen make an encampment hidden from outsiders, allowing the herds to recruit and replenish. And then raiding, which basically gives me money and increases my bestial rage. Movement range is at 100%, so this is something. A bro Ooh, yeah, you know. I've got an idea, and it's called attack hard and fast. Don't you talk over me, little shit! You hear that? This is just the disrespect. We're going for Bilbali. Bilbali has six. What's up, mate? Now, can we also recruit? Oh, you little bastard. You're trying to... It. All right, so I think we can hit Tabaro right away. But should I think we should recruit like some units first? Spearmen and raiders. We can recruit two units. Boop. And then you know what? We've done the technology. Let's go ahead and check diplomacy. Now, from what I'm reviewing, relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy. Shut your fucking mouth, dude. I mean, I'm not really mad at him. I just, I'm, I gotta get into character. So, from what I understand, we're not supposed to be nice with anybody. However, like, can I say, like, yo, I garfunkled your mother? Like, am I allowed to do that? Oh, you know what? Since we're doing this, we might as well. The hag trees which carry countless vile fetishes in their jagged branches are natural meeting places for war herds. That sounds sexual! What do we got? Can I increase income? Nope, not yet. Actually, we, we don't really build income grounds, do we? I think this is the one to do. So, I mean, since this guy's teching up because I don't have an awesome dude leading this army. Huh? I do have a beast lord. Oh, look at that. My, my bestial rage is going down. Inactivity and military defeats. So, we have to be active for a lot. A lot of the time. So now we're gonna pass. Look at all these civilizations we get to sack and raid and destroy. You are the children of chaos, as much a part of the ruinous mm, powers as yeah. the horns that sprout from your head. Yep, dark gods, got it. I'm on it, chief. Now, if we take off this, how do I go to ambush? I don't. I don't really want any of that. I just. How do I get off that hidden encampment? How do I just attack it? Raiding. Aha, there we go. So we, oh, we can always attack with an ambush. 
Now, what happens? Well, we just went in for it. Uh, auto resolve. Decisive victory. Holy shit. Now we get to decide what we want to do. We gained 435 loot. Not a whole lot. We got a potion of toughness. There are some RPG-esque elements like leveling up, gaining new pieces of armor, and magical amulets. Maybe I'll just get a giant horn that I'll stab people in the eyeballs with. You know, I mean, if I have one eye, then I'm going to be very envious of other people with more eyes. All right, what do we do with it? We can loot and raise, or we can raise and defile. So your army will gain the following effect. Destroying its enemies has strengthened this horde. Chaos corruption plus 100 and horde growth plus 8. Or we can loot and raise. Plunder the settlement and claim its riches. Money! Follower gained a flying spy. It's a hoppy. Your oh. warriors have raised an artifact of worship to the dark gods in the rubble of this wretched place. <laughs> it spreads the taint of chaos yes. across the land, mighty lord. Good, good. the resolve of those that might stand against you. We'll get some uh, campaign movement range so that we can continue our epic raiding. Now, this guy should be finished with his increasing shit. Now we're gonna go to ambush. Mother shit, I cannot follow that. And we are gonna raid Tabaro. We wanna lure this army out. Well, we have no scouts on it now, so you know that's our fault. Raid Tabaro. Get that money. Decisive victory. Killed a lot of people. We should have fought that one. We need a battle. We need to see a battle. Why'd I do that? Banner. Scarecrow banner. So we can apply banners to certain units. And we upgraded Mr. Goro's Heart Render as well. So who's our best? What does this do? Passive Ability Scarecrow Banner. It's a hex. Affects enemies in range. Target if flying. The mangled form of a terrifying scarecrow has spent too long under Morslib's glow. It was taken from the fields and now is a banner to frighten anything with wings. So anything with wings. Well, we don't need to apply it quite yet as we're not fighting anything with wings. Now let's go ahead and level this guy up. Ooh, how about a loot and raise? Chaos corruption plus 100 and horde growth. Right now I think income is pretty essential. Let's do that. Let's let's do some magical goodness. Now can we Yep. Always campaign movement for me at first. Is that the best? I don't know. I'm a beast man. We're not really worried about intelligence and tactics well we are of sorts well i'd say can we build anybody nope because we're not an encampment that does make sense turn three it is and uh these guys are all Your kinds of messed up herds live their lives on the march the clover ones have no Lord. need for towns the okay clover. raise them well i think i'm a little there bit ahead of the game rage inside you I can feel Bestial it, rage. just as there is in all true horns. All right. It is a gift measure of the, the fervor of battle increases the hit. army fights. If it gets Keep high enough, a bray herd will appear, within. which is basically another army. So that's kind of what we want to do. So this guy's got an army. Now, should we try to go past him? Like, should I send my two armies in totally different areas? Wait a minute. What if we go to... Even using the beast paths, I can't... Oh, I can get on a ship! Let's get on a ship. We're gonna sail, but where's the next like beach landing? Over here, it looks like. Yo, can you imagine a bunch of beastmen and ships? Actually, should we do that or should we kind of like bunker down? Hidden encampment. Bestial rage is minus one. Campaign movement is disabled, but look, we get that and we can recruit some new units and upgrade our shit. Oh, look at this. Ungors and Ungor Spearmen. Yeah, we want we want core infantry right now. And we can't build any of that quite yet. Why, now, why is that? Why can't I build this? You need four population. Oh, population is a, is a thing here. Hmm. Well, I don't want that one. So we're going to do that one. Oh, that's why I like if you do that. Hmm. So leave this castle... 
and go north. They're encamping. I want this guy to upgrade. He definitely needs to upgrade his shit. He has shit. Hidden encampment time. That, oh, and look at that. We're already low on money again. We're gonna need a raid again. This guy has a bigger army too. We're jealous a bit. Definitely gonna need more income. Goros the heart render is going across the sea. Kazrak the, the one eye. The paths are hidden ways, known only to the cloven ones. Yep. Use them We've learned about that, my friend. To traverse the You're a little behind the times, as it were. Maybe let's go ahead and use the beast paths. Raiding. Traverse terrain. Nearby hostile armies may intercept. Should the army be intercepted, retreat will be impossible. Battle initiation is disabled. Let's go with the regular ambush and walk up this beautiful northern path. I mean, we are guerrilla raiders, right? So let's just take the damn road. That seems to be the strategy. Ooh, we do get income, so I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, well, we gotta go across this water. Forwards, onwards, upwards. It's time to battle. I want to. I want to battle somebody. Raise the banners. Raise an army. The more land we conquer, the more territory we own. The larger the force needed to control it. Attract more guards to the herd. Expand our might. Raise an army. Uh. Attract more guards. Didn't I just do that? Didn't I raise men? I thought. I thought that's what I did, there, love. We're gonna hide in this forest. Are we suffering attrition? Because that's some bullshit. Oh, that's got a big ass army. Well, fuck me sideways. Boat. Boat. Where is the place we can land? Can we land here? No, because that's a s impassable swamp. Ooh, Skaven Blight. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, there's a way all the way down here, it looks like. See this? This looks like a beach, so we're going to head down that way. Oh, and a beautiful city to pillage! Brilliant. Two arms. Now, I think it's just a regular army. So we could go to Hidden and Camp. Ooh, a Brian. Castle Carcassonne. Paravon and the next snappers, I give two shits about you. Uh, let's go to the missions and quests. Attract more gores. I would love it if it gave me a little more specification. But let's go ahead and check that out. Ungores and... Well, those guys are gores, right? Recruit a hero, recruit a lord. Is this guy a gore? Malagor. You know what? I think it's just a regular guy. So what we're going to do is go over here. And can we encamp? Nope. But we found a city. So next turn, we're going to recruit some gores. Get, what is this? Increased fightingness. Well, it, in, mm, experience and recruitment cost. Hell yeah. Well, that's for four turns, anyway. Alright, how's my ship doing? Holy shit, how do I, like, get on the freaking land? I definitely need to get on the land. Oh, here we go, we can do it here. This is a whole damn city. Well, that'll happen next turn anyway. So, Lucini. What is your- oh! Oh, never mind. I looked at the wrong thing. They've got two units of crossbowmen, two units of spearmen, and two units of swordsmen. Lucini is a bene. Bibbidi bobbidi booby, okay? Now, we gotta go to the next turn. There's a- anyone that has a red name is already at war with us. That's beautiful, because I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all. Alright, let's go ahead and get over here. Should we... How? When can I encamp? 
I think I have to do it like minimum requirement to assume 25% total campaign movement range. So if I go like to here, which we don't even really need to do, I should be able to hidden encampment. Let's do that. And let's go recruit a unit of gauze. I would like these guys. Because they seem like my infantry fodder. So let's get one set of archers. We'll call it a day with them. And then I think we've got ourselves. We're going to fight two battles. Declare war. Declare war. No allies. War has been declared. Okay, well, we've got two units of crossbowmen, two units of shields, and two units of swords. They have no army. I mean, they have no leader. Now, let's see. What are, I don't even really know. Poor leadership. Oh, God. All my guys have poor leadership? That means they're likely to rout. Leadership of 45. These guys have good leadership and armor. Huh. I would imagine we just outmaneuver these guys, kill the range, and then slaughter everybody else. Shall we do it? Save time. I mean, you can't learn. Yep, let's do it. We're doing it! I mean, that's the only way to progress. Ah. Alright, so I'm over here. They're over here. Hopefully... They Ungor heard, yeah, they start the battle in this start, but technically, I can be anywhere in red area. So I wonder if I can put men on this hill. Probably not. But I know I can, there's some... Boros the heart render. Maybe we should hero. Alright, so it looks like there's this vanguard deployment I can spawn kind of here. Like, some of my units can have vanguard deployment, and then some of them can't. Let's see, can I hide these guys in this forest? Oh, they're all hidden. So now the enemy has zero clues as to where I am. So I'm gonna start this battle, try to take the hill, find them, use that, and wreck them, and shrek them. Now, I, I have no eyes where they are, so. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of that. We'll speed this up. We'll get these guys up here. So we need them up quicker, so these guys are gonna be moving at like double pace. They gotta climb this damn mountain. Where would they be, over there? Potentially or they could be up on this hill and I just don't have vision yet. That's what I like about this is You definitely have to account for the terrain Yeah, see you can see the fog of war what I can't see All right. Well, that's working. So let's go ahead and slow the speed down Actually speed it up till we get on top of this hill. How have we not been able to see anybody yet? This fog of war is strange. Aha! We have found them! Look at that! We're on your flanks, you little bitches! You little bashes. Alright, so what do we have? Man, all my guys are chanting and shit. Alright, so what's their range? Pretty decent. All right, and then we're gonna put my army like right behind them. So they're expecting me to just trounce through this forest and be like, yo, dude, I'm gonna attack you from the front. And I'm like, nah, bro. That ain't the way we're gonna do this. Your hidden units are revealed. And they're like, oh shit, it's a fucking ambush. Yeah, that's right. It is an ambush. So I wonder how my units do against their archers. Because they've got two units of archers. Let's go ahead and toggle skirmish mode for these guys. They're all opening up right now. Are we killing anybody? Their archers are attacking us. Let's go ahead and move them over here. We'll move you over here. Move into position! Double time, double time, double speed. Oh man. 
All right, so who do we need to attack with our hero? Does he got any awesome skills? Skills to pay the bills? All right. I wonder, should we just go... Hmm. I need you guys to target them and you to hit these units from behind. Hit them from behind. All right, we're doing well. We're doing well. Morale's in our favor. We just gotta worry about them damn archers. Your lord's under attack. Hopefully he can... Yeah, I see that. Just show me his, like, health. Get get this thing out of the way. That'd be, that'd be great. So I can, you know, you, you, like, maybe... Maybe so I can see his health, huh? Please? Please remove yourself from my presence. No, 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 no. That's not your objective. How are we doing over here? Alright, let's take these guys and surround these units, break their morale, and kill them from behind. Alright, my my boss, Goros Heartrunner, is just wrecking shit. Let's let's see what's happening. See, this is the beauty of this game. I think this battle is going in my favor, aka they're fleeing. There's some of this purpley blood stuff all over the field. Let's go kill some more people. Let's surround their general. If we can surround the general and not let him out, that'd be pretty badass. Dude. The legendary lords are always really, really good. Now, I'd almost be... I'd almost lean towards, like... You know what? You attack him. You attack him. And then you are going to be used to start killing and slaughtering as many people as is humanly possible. Well... Not technically human, is it? They're all retreating. So this is the time we want to run them down and kill them. Get all. Get all the kills. A nice victory. Let's... I want to, I want to kill them. I want to kill them. Kill them all. I think by getting more casualties... At least, I remember in Rome Total War this worked. Yeah, let's run after them. Everybody run. I really want to kill... Wait a minute. What are you guys doing? Maybe we dispatched the wrong unit. I wonder how fast this guy is. He should be faster than man. Does he catch them? Yo, run, 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 run! Get them! <laughs> that guy's like arms and legs. Did he get chopped in half? That guy got chopped in half. I think, or maybe that's just two guys he killed at once. That's that's also a likely scenario. Look at this. Giovanni Scarsi. Well, that is the end of that battle. We're not going to save that replay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of Total War Warhammer. <laughs>